In this video, I'm going to take you through my home buying process from finding the house to getting it inspected to getting a mortgage for it and the crazy thing that happened to me. All right, I put in an offer on a house and the list price was 319, but for the record, they started at like three, like mid threes, and they dropped their price so many times. Then their pricing was at 319,900, and then I offered 310, and they're like, no. So we finally settled on 316,500. So I'm on my way to go get a deposit, which is $5,000. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. I had to come back because I'm actually super upset that I had to put on stretchy pants. I was in my pajamas, but you only get two business days, or at least I only got two business days, so off I go. Okay, so I went to get my bank draft. $5,000 um, for the down payment, but for the down payment. But then I got a call back basically saying that CMHC would not um, insure my mortgage. And apparently they were saying like the neighborhood isn't that good and it's not a good place to raise two kids. Um, and that like the house beside it was dusty and that they didn't think that a single mother should be raising their two kids there and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, uh, I don't really think that's the, the call for you to make. So uh, I just sent in a new mortgage application with somebody that a friend had used for his mortgage just like last month. So it's a lower interest rate too, so you should shop around for your mortgage. Um, but I thought it was super weird that they were like, oh, like we don't really see the value in the place and it's not really a place that you should move into. I don't think that that's their, their call to make, but whatever. Anyway, I'll let you guys know um, how the other how the other mortgage application with the mortgage broker goes. And for the record, the house is, I put in an offer at 316500 and I was approved for 380000 So it's like, and then the assessed value from the city is 316000 So it's like basically what I paid. So I don't see why they would think that they can't resell the place if there's a default and I would put money into it like I'd make it like a little bit nicer but whatever uh I'll keep you guys posted okay bye okay today was a little bit crazy so yesterday I sent a message to my banker and I was like can you check with any other insurance companies like and also can you get me a better rate and that kind of thing blah 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 and then i called my friend and i was like hey i know you just got a mortgage who did you use and then they referred me to this other person so i filled out an application with them and all this kind of stuff um so i was like trying to work with a mortgage broker because i was like it's kind of bullshit that they didn't want to insure my mortgage because they didn't like the house like it wasn't a grow up or anything like that there's nothing really wrong with the house Except for maybe like it's in a slightly lower income neighborhood, but it's in a good location. It's like kind of inner city-ish, close to the to the transit, close to shops, close to the hospital, close to the airport. Anyway, so then um, I get a call back and she's like, oh, uh, you're approved. They'll insure you. I was like, what changed and I was like well can you get me a better rate because like this other guy said that he could do it for one percent less and she's like oh I don't know I'll get back to you and blah 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 so then I was like supposed to I sent in my deposit today I'm still gonna go in with through with the home inspection I still think it's a good house it has like six bedrooms so yeah that's kind of where I am and keep you posted on if I get a better rate because like even if I don't get a better rate from the bank I'm going with a mortgage broker because like I don't want to pay more than I have to for the house so anyway that's it okay bye I forgot to do an update yesterday so lots of things happened so my I asked for a lower rate from my banker and she called me and she was like oh I can do 5.29 or something for 5.54 but again apparently the rate that I can get 
is um, 4.5. And then she tried to guilt trip me and be like, I've been working with you for nine months and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like hurt that you're looking around and stuff like that. I was like, well, I have to, you know, do what's best for my family. And if I can save $150 or $200 a month, then obviously I'm going to do that. Uh, and then she's like, I'm not going to call you back. Let me know if you want the rate. And, and she's like, I'm not going to go back to the treasury uh, if you don't accept this rate. And I was like, oh, OK, well, I'll uh, I'll consult with somebody else and I'll let you know. And then she was like mad and then we just said bye. So totally weird. Anyway, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Headed to the home inspection today. I'll only be taking cell phone videos, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. And if anything major, like roof, hot water, tank, furnace is not good and the sellers won't fix it, then I'm abandoning the sale. Okay, bye. All right, I decided not to get the house because they weren't willing to come down on price at all and it was gonna be like 40K just to finish it. So I signed the waiver, didn't get the house, but I will let you guys know about uh, any other houses that I look for. See ya. Okay, this is the house and yes, it is dusty. However, in the contract, we said that they would have it professionally cleaned and they get rid of all the garbage at the front. Now this is tenant occupied. So there are tenants at the top and there are tenants at the bottom. So obviously it can be rented. And if you see here, so the windows needed to be redone because the tenants uh, put this on here to keep the heat in, but also the furnace is original. Now, the reason that I like this house is because there's a full suite on top with three bedrooms and a full suite at the bottom with three bedrooms. And the tenants were obviously super dusty, so the house doesn't show very well. And originally I thought that the floors were fine, but of course you can't see them that well. And on the home inspection, it said that all the floors needed to be ripped out. My thought process was that I could just clean it up. They'd have it professionally cleaned and I could put like nice, nicer furniture in there, but all of the floors had to be replaced. So it would have cut into the amount of time or it would have increased the amount of time that I would have to have the carrying costs while this place gets fixed up. I thought that I could just put people in at the top while I redid the basement and then Airbnb the basement while I did the top and then probably move into like one of the bedrooms later. Now the kitchen actually, upon further inspection, needed more work and that's what the house inspection is for. I was able to see past the clutter, but once you do look past the clutter, uh, there was like, actually it wasn't that bad. There are a couple things like this part needed a vent going out, it wasn't necessary, but it would have been fine. And then this floor was totally fine. Uh, and then it was just like the house, all of the work that was done in the house was obviously done by the owner. You can't see it here, but one of these doors was upside down. I'll try to upload the inspection video. And also when we got there, most of this was cleared out and the basement was honestly fine. It needed new floors and it needed a new tub, which is like not a big deal. But um, I wanted to create like another laundry area. See, there's like a bedroom here and there's two more to the left. So like there's honestly nothing wrong with it. The basement was much nicer than the upstairs. Um, and then the backyard, there's nothing wrong with the backyard either. They sold both sides, they sold this side and they were trying to sell this side. So it's a duplex, but I'll show you the, I'll show you the location. Oh, and also this house, I think they had it originally, it was at least 350, so it was way overpriced. It's honestly still overpriced now. I personally believe that it's worth like 275, no more than 299. Um, but I like it because you can rent out top and bottom. Um, okay, let's show, let's look at the neighborhood. Okay. So I love the community of Whitehorn. There's a train station right here. You can walk to it. The hospital is here. Then if you zoom out just a little bit more, the airport is right here. So it's like really, really well located. And I'll show you where downtown is. 
and then downtown is just here. So you have the airport, you have the hospital, and then you have downtown. And this is a major highway. You can get to Deerfoot, you can get to the Ring Road. I personally like the area and there's like lots of shopping around it and stuff like that. So I like the area.